So this is the fourth video in my series about adding video to Adobe Captivate. And in this example, we're going to talk a little bit about web object video. And this is an alternative uh, to some of the other methods uh, when you don't necessarily have, you know, a regular access to the video. Uh, in this case here, I'm using my account with Vimeo.com and I've uploaded the same video we've seen in the other tutorials as well. To add a web object video, you need to actually, instead of going to the media toolbar icon, we're going to go to the objects toolbar icon and select web down below. Normally, web objects are used for displaying websites or web forms or any kind of web content that might be on the internet that you want to give access uh, or give your users access to. So I'm just going to resize this here approximately. And in this case here, I went to my Vimeo.com site and I copied the embed code. Now, this is what you really need for, uh, for a web video because this way we don't have all the other stuff that happens to be on that web page. We just have the video itself. So in my properties inspector with the web object selected, I'm going to select the embed code radio button here and I'm going to paste in the already copied embed code that I got from Vimeo.com hit enter and we'll see our video here uh, again this is the same video I used in the previous tutorials um, and of course there's a few options that we can select you can auto load this which is what I would recommend that you do uh, you can alternatively display it in a new browser window if there, there's a reason for that. You certainly could do that. In this case, I'm going to stick with displaying it on my slide. Uh, you can decide to show a border around the web object. I'm not going to do that in this case. I want it to look seamless. And uh, you can turn off uh, having scroll bars uh, for some reason or another. If a scroll bar appears, it's going to look um, not so great. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. If your content is sufficiently large or the website or the web object is trying to load too much, you might want to show a loading animation uh, just to give your users uh, a better uh, user experience here. This is pretty much good to go. So we can preview this. Uh, we'll just do a preview in HTML5 in browser here. So unlike the slide video options that are available, uh, web object video is not compatible with your interactive video in Captivate 2019. Uh, you'll see, of course, that when I start playing the video, it's independent of your e-learning project. And that's because the, the slide still continues to be three seconds or whatever default you've got setting. And of course, the video is playing within its own window uh, separate. And of course, I can interact with all the controls that are available from Vimeo. Um, I actually like this interface a little bit better than YouTube. I just have a very simple uh, interface that, that's, uh, that's good to go. Users uh, cannot use closed captioning that's built into Adobe Captivate. However, if the video has closed captionings built in, uh, they can they can utilize those. And again, the other advantage of using a web object video is it doesn't increase the size of your project. So uh, again, the video resides on Vimeo.com or some other web streaming service, and, and it doesn't affect the, the size of your project published to your learning management system. The one thing, of course, your learners will need, of course, is access to the public internet, because otherwise, uh, if they're behind a firewall, uh, the video won't play. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.